Hey everybody, welcome back to Learn Stuff. My name is Mackenzie. Today we're gonna learn all about nesting, what it is and when to use it. In some of our previous videos, we learned how to use warp stabilization and optical flow. But there's a problem, and that is you can't use both of those effects in the same clip. But when you nest your footage, what it allows you to do is to use both of those so that you can create a really effective cinematic look. Let's jump into our timeline and let's get started. We have two clips here that I got at a park, and what we're going to do is we're going to highlight one of them, and we are going to right click, and we're going to hit nest. What that does is it creates its own nested sequence. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the nested sequence and we're going to hit R or highlight the clip and then hit R and then hit 70%. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to time interpolation, optical flow, and then we're going to go back to the timeline. And so what we do at this timeline is we're going to type in warp stabilizer, just like we do on a normal clip when we want to stabilize it and we drag it onto the nested sequence. So what this allows us to do is use optical flow and it also lets us use warp stabilizer for the same clip. So my clip is finished rendering and so let's take a look at what we have now. That looks so much better. And so not only did it stabilize the footage but it also used optical flow to create an effective slow motion effect that really makes a normal 30 frame per second clip look outstanding after it's done. So that's how you nest your footage. That's how you create a really good cinematic look with your footage. My name is Mackenzie Beebe. We will see you here next week on Learn Stuff.